Thank you, Roberto. Good morning and welcome to day three of uh, the Global Innovation Summit. We are very happy to have you here and I do hope that you found, uh, you have found last uh, night very interesting. I'm sure you will find this session very interesting as we are going to discuss one of the most pressing issues, an issue that uh, one might argue that uh, our whole lives depend on it. Welcome, Professor. Uh, Please allow me to make a small introduction yes. about who Mr. Uh, Dr. Mishinari Hamaguchi is. The Chancellor to the President, Japan Science and Technology Agency. Yes. Uh, Mr. Hamaguchi has earned his PhD in medicine from Nagoya University. He was appointed research associate at the Nagoya University School of Medicine in 1980, and from then worked at Nagoya University, except for the period from 1985 to 1988, when he pursued his research at Rockefeller University in the US. He has served as the president of Nagoya University from April 2009 to March 2015, before becoming the president of JST, JST is the Japan Science and Technology Agency, in October 2015. He currently serves as chairperson of the Japanese National Commission for UNESCO and of the Council for Science and Technology Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology in Japan. To give you a better idea of whom Professor Hamaguchi is, he has received the Royal Order of uh, Sahametre Officer Class from the Kim Kingdom of Cambodia, the Vietnam Ministry of Justice Medal, Polar Star of Medal of Mongolia, Honorary Doctorate from the Poland Dansk University, Honorary Doctorate Mongolian National University of Science and Technology, and honorary doctorate from Sung Kyung Kwan University in 2009. And I could go on and on, Professor Yamaguchi, but I will stop here. I would only like to mention that yesterday, Professor Yamaguchi was also honored with uh, the uh, Global Innovation Award from uh, ZFCC at a very special ceremony at the Academy of Athens. Thank you. Dr. Yamaguchi. <laughs> so, sh shall I start? Uh, uh, I'm very honored to welcome you here. Yeah. I am running a pharmaceutical company in Greece, and although our company has a history of more than 100 years, it is very small compared to the size of uh, the pharmaceutical commerce in Japan yeah. or Japan itself. Please, can we have your introduction? Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Uh, from April this year, I worked for the uh, SCADA. It's a, uh, center for vaccine preparation. The reason why is simple. Look, looking back the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it has been an um, unprecedented uh, national crisis. Yet Japan has not produced any vaccine, our own vaccine at the time. Uh, that means we left our people under huge stress. Uh, so it is my responsibility to analyze this class carefully and uh, stop the situation that allowed this uh, stressful condition two years ago. And I need to formulate uh, countermeasures and prepare, prepare for the future pandemics in addition to COVID-19. The reason why COVID-19 has not been completely irradiated uh, is that there are several reasons we have about this disease. COVID-19 is different from influenza virus. In case of influenza virus, only three years is enough to uh, uh, say, uh, su suppress uh, pandemic uh, disease. But in this case, COVID-19 has very strange style of infection. We call it uh, persistent infection in biology world. Persistent infection sometimes occur uh, immunodeficient or in, immunocompromised individuals. For example, uh, AIDS patient uh, or B cell leukemia virus patient. Uh, this virus infect the patient for long term, sometimes 10 months, one year, continuously infect and then replicate many times. That causes um, mutation. Uh, for example, in, uh, like, 
the virus strain we have now uh, has compared with the uh, original ones, 31 point mutation in spike. That come from AIDS patient, actually. This is a problem we have now examined, uh, experience. And another point different from influenza virus is this virus has a wide range of host. For example, your cat your, or, or your dog can be infected. Also, wild animal can be infected. So even if you immunize all the people, this virus still remains in this world. That's another problem we have experienced. And I think mutation is very frequent because of, uh, it spread so widely. Even if we suppress one type, another type occurs. And the range of uh, immunization period is very short, six months, sometimes four months. Compare with, uh, for example, uh, uh, recently, we uh, experienced uh, monkeypox uh, vaccination. We made half a century ago, for, 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 for example, in me. When I was a boy, I got the vaccination for smallpox. It's still effective so, to monkeypox. But in case of COVID-19, immunization only effective on six months or so. This, this is a huge black box in, in, in terms of immunology. We don't know how and what mechanism cause this difference. This is the difficulty we are facing. At my center, SCADA, we have two main miss missions because of these problems. First, Japan must be prepared in the production of vaccine, and we have to uh, prepare better vaccine. Also, messenger RNA is very smart. We can prepare rapidly, quickly, to any type of the virus, and it is uh, easy to prepare compared with uh, inactivated virus particle or as a type, um, as a method. It is very uh, neat, uh, easy to prepare, but uh, some ways is not uh, well affected to this method. So we need other type method to prepare vaccines. Uh, that's another reason we are now prepare, uh, working. And so far, so far we are now uh, preparing uh, first three, uh, diversification of vaccine modality. For example, uh, vaccine, we call it universal type. Uh, it can be effective for various types of uh, COVID mutants. Uh, and this is really difficult, we are now trying. Second type is uh, VLP, virus-like particle. It, it is more simple than virus, but free from the cells. So immunization is very simply uh, effective. And another type we are preparing is a peptide vaccine. I think soon, next year or so, we'll, we can deliver this type vaccine. And, and most uh, 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 ambitious one is uh, Leprechaun. It contains messenger RNA and uh, RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. This is, uh, because of the polymerase effect, we can immunize people with a very small amount of messenger RNA. That means we can reduce the side effect. This kind of uh, experiment now going on in Japan, and we are collaborating with uh, companies. Uh, so this is a one program we are not right now uh, starting. And second program we are uh, now establishing is that we select centers in the university. We selected five universities 
to establish center for the vaccine preparation. And each center has unique idea and uh, mission. Big, biggest one is Tokyo University. They cover all the field. Hokkaido University covers, uh, uh, they will study the uh, human animal virus. So, uh, for example, COVID-19 or influenza virus, these kind of virus impact both animal and humans. So we need screening of wild animals. Uh, in case of Chiba University, they are screen, uh, studying uh, uh, mucosal immunity because uh, when we immunize, mostly inject in muscle, this is effective for preventing the, the, the disease get, become uh, severe, but we, we cannot prevent first infection. It comes, comes from nose to uh, upper uh, respiratory organs. So we need a kind of uh, spray vaccine to uh, prevent the initial stage of infection. This is answer. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. These kind of uh, uh, studies now are going on. So uh, we are eager to uh, produce uh, unique watching in the near future. And also we want to collaborate with uh, other countries because single can country cannot prevent uh, uh, pandemic disease. And also pandemic disease has a geographic difference. We have to uh, share idea depends on the pandemic uh, uh, infectious, uh, infectious disease pattern. These are feeling we not right now I'm thinking about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. So, so is it okay? Of course, of course it's okay. And uh, I think what you described and the mm. difficulty that Japan has faced in developing uh, your own vaccine, mm. I think uh, is, is a sign, is a signal mm. of how difficult it is to mm. develop vaccines mm. today. Uh, I find also, because of my profession, very interesting what you described about the development phase you are in the uh, mm. vaccine mm. program and uh, the studies mm. you are conducting. I would like to concentrate a little more, though, mm. uh, at uh, your idea of uh, collaboration, because uh, you represent you know, a major force in the terms of both research and development uh, as manufacturing expertise. Mm. And uh, I find very interesting that you are willing to share all this information or collaborate with other countries to develop the vaccine. Yes. How can we do that? How can nations work together to develop the capacity to produce a vaccine for future use? Uh, actually, right now we have... Uh, Allow me to welcome uh, Minister uh, Georgiadis. Minister Georgiadis has also served as a Minister of Health, and I'm sure that he will find the subject also very interesting. We yes. Oh, sorry. We are communicating with uh, other countries, uh, funding agency. For example, for the United States, uh, we are communicating with, with BALDA, a major funding agency to prepare vaccine. In case of you, EU, we, last week uh, we accept a uh, visitor from DG Hela. DG Hela is an EU huge funding agency pre to prepare the vaccine. And CEPI, another funding agency is CEPI. CEPI, now we are communicating with frequently to collaborate. These are all Japanese agencies? CEPI is a worldwide agency. Worldwide, okay. DG is EU. Excuse my ignorance. And Varda is in United States. We, we, we are trying to communicate with other countries' funding agencies right now and discussing how to uh, communicate, collaborate, and how to share information. Because initial stage of pandemic, this as when it's spreading, we need uh, precise information smoothly. That means we need network. I see, and do you have other countries in mind that uh, are willing to collaborate at this stage? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, we, we, we are welcome to collaborate and uh, uh, we want to exchange information and exchange materials. This is very important to uh, prevent the uh, pandemic spreading. 
And let, let, me, let me follow on this mm. uh, subject. What is, what is next in terms of uh, development frameworks and uh, technologies? Technologies. So, you touched the subject a little bit. Yeah. If you would like to elaborate a little more. I think Messenger uh, Alne has some difficulty. I'm sorry. It, it's somehow good for spike protein, I, I think. And sp spike protein is, is you know, uh, virus, some type, types of virus has a spike on the surface, envelope and sp spike. And this spike adapt to human receptor. And uh, uh, most of the influenza vaccine and the COVID-19 vaccine f uh, focus on this spike. But as a type where well, has no spike, this type is difficult to prepare a, a small part of virus proteins uh, as a mutagen because if we isolate it, it's called aggregation. And that means whole virus is somehow uh, better than the messenger RNA preparation. So we, we need to uh, set, uh, select optimal preparation, and that means we need different method in addition to messenger RNA type vaccine. This is my idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this. Uh, how do you think that countries can collaborate? Uh, what, what the framework would be there? And uh, how can uh, we progress the idea for global health? Because I like your yeah. idea of collaboration. I like that you're sharing the information there. You're willing to share the information. And so we're talking about a global environment, global health, global mm -hmm. capabilities, global research uh, collaboration. If, if you remember uh, the initial stage of COVID-19, mm -hmm. we lacked transparency. And also information that this virus was uh, denied that uh, human to human infection is not observed at the time it, it was reported that that was the problem so we need uh, uh, Trump transparency and smooth information exchange these kind of system right now we we are trying to communicate with other countries, uh, funding agency, uh, to get the information. Another problem we are now facing is the uh, uh, length of vaccine preparation. Uh, especially phase three, it takes long time and a huge amount of money to uh, ensure this vaccine is uh, effective and uh, safe. So we need a kind of uh, uh, discussion, how to shorten and yet preserve the safety of the va uh, vaccine. This, this uh, we need uh, improvement, the international discussion, we need it. And third point is the sustainability of vac vaccine preparation. When pandemic occurs, we, we need huge amount of vaccine, but if suppressed, we don't need, and company decline. <laughs> I see. Of course, this sustainability is, is very important. Safety yeah. is also very important, as you mentioned. Please allow me uh, yeah. one more question. Quick yes. words, yes. since oh. you mentioned it, on the 100-day yeah. well, mission. Hundred I found it very important. Yeah. 100-day mission is an uh, idea to shorten the vaccine preparation. But uh, as I told you, we need improvement about especially the uh, phase three preparation to show the effectiveness of the vaccine in huge amount of the candidate. Mm -hmm. Another point we need is uh, information exchange. These two well established, then uh, vaccine preparation itself is easy compared with uh, past time because we have messenger RNA. It takes if we need, it takes only a few weeks to prepare an effective one. So, so you, you believe that we can have a vaccine for a new mutation in 100 days? Yes, uh, uh, theoretically. Okay, theoretically. <laughs> well, theory but is improvement always, is important. Theory is always important. 
We, we are almost running out of time, but I would like to allow a question from uh, Kande, who has it. Please, a quick question, and we're going to have a very quick answer. You know, my country, Sierra Leone, we had the highest infection rate for Ebola. Yeah. And many people died, over 4,000. But we saw something different with COVID. We have less than 150 deaths. Even though a study by Harvard University showed that there was community infection of 30, 40%. My question for you is the following. Are you and other scientists looking at the phenomenon in Africa where our death rates were so low? There is something positive here. If it was somewhere else, I'm sure they would be studying it. Is it resistant, natural resistance we have? How come our death rates were low? Meanwhile, the projections were there will be 10, 20 million deaths in Africa. Mm -hmm. Never happened. My country is still less than 150. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at that? And lastly, the vaccine nationalism we see is affecting solidarity around the world because mm -hmm. we are suspicious now. Mm -hmm. When the crisis came, people forgot about us. Mm -hmm. But yet we are needed for collaboration in other crises. How? And that's why your question about collaboration matters. Thank you. How do you see that collaboration in the future? Thank you, Kande. Oh. Professor? OK, uh, let me focus on the first question uh, first. Uh, Ebola is a very dangerous critical infection. We have many other viruses. For example, Nipah virus. This is also crucial. Sometimes the uh, lethal rate is 70%. Uh, ten pe if 10 people infected, seven people Clearly, uh, there are many these kind of virus. Uh, also, uh, difference from COVID-19 is uh, infectious uh, activity. They are still weak compared with COVID-19. So we can uh, somehow uh, suppress the spread by public health technique. But we need vaccine and. The critical part of vaccine, for example, Ebola, is many African countries. And Nipah virus is uh, uh, Southeast Asian countries. Uh, they have not enough funding for the virus preparation, uh, vaccine preparation. So international collaboration is very important, I, I think. We have to try how to uh, make uh, international collaboration to supply vaccine to these people. Otherwise, if the infectious uh, uh, activity increase in case of Nipah virus, I think many, many huge number of people will die. It's, it, I expect it's higher than COVID-19, clearly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. And thank you very much for this nice discussion. Please allow me to finish with a proposal. The rector of the university is not here today, but he's a celebrated uh, doctor with uh, a lot of research. And the Greek pharmaceutical industry is a pillar, has advanced very much. So I would like to propose that you consider collaboration yeah. with Greek universities on yes. research. Yeah. And okay. when you reach the stage of production, of mm. manufacturing, to consider association with the Greek pharmaceutical okay. industry. Of course. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent.